Employers want to make sure their workers are happy. In today's environment, that can include making sure they're happy with where they live or that they have a secure place to live. 7 News reporter Chad Charette learns more at a forum today where employers put their heads together to listen and learn about housing security. Housing is an issue across the nation, whether that's due to its cost or its availability. The North Country is no exception. That's why business owners and employers gathered for a housing forum put on by the workplace at Jefferson Lewis BOCES Wednesday morning. We can help with, with mostly with homelessness, um, finding people uh, stable housing. Those employers and business owners were there to share concerns and learn strategies on how they can protect their employees. Hilton Garden Inn General Manager Jody Pettit tells 7 News it's an issue she's become quite familiar with. I have employees that I worry about. Um, can't say that they would become housing um, insecure, but um, I've also seen homeless coming up in our area. You might be wondering why employers should even be concerned with their employees' living situations. Well, Pettit says a stable employee is a long-term employee. I want to keep my employees happy, I want to keep them healthy, and I don't want a lot of turnover, um, so I feel it's necessary to assist them. In Jefferson County in particular, housing scarcity is a major part of the issue. We're told it's been sitting at about a 95% occupancy rate for the past three or so years. Some of it is our Airbnbs and short-term rentals for our um, river counties or near, near trails and stuff, so a lot of housing has been dedicated to short-term rentals. Jalen Heems, who runs Snowbelt Housing Company in Lewis County, believes that if housing becomes more accessible, then things will become a lot more stable for a lot of people. She has an example of a path forward. Things like the Lowville DRI is a great example of a, a community coming together, applying for funds, and then a, a wide array of investment in a downtown to keep that village um, moving towards the future. Employers were also pointed towards resources to put their at-risk employees in touch with like SNAP benefits, Medicaid, and housing emergency assistance programs. Chad Charette, 7 News.